and let's remember, they are representatives. They're supposed to be voting your conscience. Yes, I will stand here and I will tell you what I believe. I can argue both sides of the issue. I can give you every reason, the other side and my side, or the, the side I believe in, why they should both say, this is what we should do. Ultimately, the answer is, what do you want? And when we are re-electing people who are doing the waffling, that are voting issues that we don't agree with, we are telling them implicitly and explicitly, we agree. And this is the government we get for that. Yes, sir. Nobody really ever asks those questions You're asking directly, me now. and it's not satisfied until they get a direct answer. It's sugar-coated, politically correct uh, phr uh, phrasing, and you never really get a direct answer. I'm giving you direct But that's answers. why he's running. He's I'm running to give an alternative option to what we have. That's what he's basically saying. He's... You're right. When, when it comes time for debate stuff, he's going to call him on it. What, what are they going to say when he's right there calling him on it? That's why he's running, to give yeah. them... I haven't been to many debates, but I, I don't see people saying, what did you mean by that? Can you tell us where you really stand? That's because, again, what are they looking to do? To protect their political <laughs> capital? To try and support a party or a party line? I'm not there for them. I'm here to get a job done. There are issues that are important to us. As I'm speaking to people across the entire district, they are focused. You know what's one of the most effective ways to get jobs? It's not to get foreigners with visas to come in to do small business, to help small businesses. Because most well, small businesses don't need that. What we need, let's cut the corporate tax rate. That's not a new idea. We saw both presidential candidates say they agree. And we gotta bring down the corporate tax rates. We heard all of Congress, the leaders and members say, we need to cut down the corporate tax rate. It will be beneficial to the nation. Has anyone heard them take a vote about cutting the corporate tax rates? Anyone? Any time since the day the election ended. Well, again, why are we not holding them accountable to this? They promised they would do this. It's a simple thing. It really is a simple thing. We've passed all those who are in favor of cutting the corporate tax rate. Five percent, that's a shell, it means nothing. Just to live up to their campaign promise. They don't do it, why? Because we're not writing and saying, you promised you'd do this. Mr. Obama, Mr. Romney, Mr. Bone, Daniel, uh, Mr. Reid, you promised you were gonna bring this up to a vote. Let's hold them accountable. This, and when they don't do that, let's get those people in who will. Because I don't want to be there for a career. I don't want to be there for 30 years. I want to get in there and get the job done. Let's cut the corporate tax rate. Let's get on the floor of Congress. Let's say, my constituents want to vote. They believe that cutting the corporate tax rates will bring jobs in. It will allow people to have entrepreneurial spirit and build new businesses, and then have those businesses grow. The only thing that stops us from doing that is someone actually getting up there and doing it. And the only reason they won't do it is because they are afraid of that 30-second sound bite. They are afraid of saying, well, you know what, the media may not like it. I don't care if the media likes what I have to say. I don't care if the party likes particularly what I have to say. I, mean, I care if the constituents care about what I have to say, because that's what we need. And if you don't understand the issue, that's not your fault entirely. Yes, we should all know about the issues to some degree. You can't know a thousand, two thousand page issue. But that's what the constituent is there for. That's his job. To go, to make the discussion, to learn the law, to come back to the community and make the community aware of what's going on, to argue the pros and the cons and his position on why he believes this is the best idea, and then to go back and vote that position, not the party. Mm -hmm. Not to flip back and forth and waffle. That's important.